Why have you chosen to only perform outside? Artistically, I'm, I'm in search, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, there's something missing there that I really need to find that I probably never will. My primary obligation is to try and appropriate my own stories of the continent and to be able to transmit I and mean, the thing the thing that always sort of like get get very worked up about is that Africa has been told and said and and shown constantly through Western eyes so in a funny way we end up seeing ourselves through Western eyes and I think that now it's time there are enough professionals around so it's time to to take our own stories show them with our own aesthetics with our own understanding with our own voice and so that's why I say appropriate our own stories When Contemporary came, he came, bam, he jumped in. He jumped in through, you know, uh, the West and through um, scholars and dancers like you. And what we need to understand is we need to first get those symbols and images together, know where they're coming from. It's like the hip hop the dance, and break dance. First we looked at it, it was strange. How would one man tumble? and do all those things on the, and they called it the street dance and we don't do it in the streets, we do it in the courtyard, we do it in the market square, we do it in the king's palace, you see, we don't do it. So the venue, you changed it and that first made us say street dance, you know, we don't just dance in the streets.
artists in on this stage, you know. I saw uh, European culture in it. I saw our Nigerian culture in it. So I think this is a very big cultural event for me. You show also how erotism and how smooth, and how relaxing our music and our, our dancing could be. So a lot of people think our most of our dancing is so barbarism. We don't woo -woo -woo and jump up. But what he's doing, and I was watching his body, and you see how how cool. And I was feeling I was about to fall asleep, you know, doing it. But I have to keep my eyes awake because of what you people are doing. It's very beautiful. I think you people are doing a very good job. I hope you people continue doing that, and I hope you people bring more other countries to join you in such things. Not only French, British. Americans, let them join you. Let you people should continue promoting culture in in our whole world. Because when you do cultural things, people get to know you. When they get to know you, they become your friends. So there is somebody you know that you call my friend. Somebody you don't know, you say, hey stranger. So when they get to know you, they also see the quality that you people have. Well, I, I think our innocence, our innocence, um, is what the Western world wants right now. Globalization, what they want to share, is, I think it's just what we have that we haven't developed our our, our natural resources, our environment, our greens. That's what they like. They can't believe that in in a place where there is no more <laughs> land and they beat all the skyscrapers taking everything up these people have miles and acres and hectares of, of, of just grass and, and people can work on it and develop it we're hoping that the traditional culture may just be the saving grace at which we begin to say look it has to stop at this level especially when we find that the African man, even after flowing with the river of globalization, flowing with the process of assimilation, has not gone beyond his position. You, you understand? It still doesn't make him a first-class citizen. Then he now says, look, what the hell am I following these people for? Or what am I assimilating and swallowing all these new thoughts for i can't even cope i i don't know anything about a computer and and so what we are just like in nigeria what we are we are consumers